Hello, I'm Eric Hurst from trainingforclimbing.com here with another training tip. In this video, we're going to delve just a bit into the biomechanics of the fingers and the forearm muscles, and I'll give you a few tips on how you can best strengthen the important yet often overlooked muscles of the lateral forearm. Many climbers who ignore training the extensor muscles eventually develop pain and long term they're at risk of tendinosis, which is a nasty injury that has cursed many a climber with lost seasons, even lost years of climbing. First, it's important to recognize that the finger flexors and the extensors don't have the same agonist-antagonist relationship as, say, the biceps and the triceps. Consider that when doing a bicep curl, the tricep muscles are for the most part relaxing as the bicep muscles contract and do their work. Oppositely, when, we're working, uh, when you're working a pushing motion, the triceps are contracting and extending, while the biceps, for the most part, are relaxing. Well, the forearm muscles have a different relationship. They work as a co-contraction kinetic chain. For the finger flexors to generate force, the extensor muscles have to contract as well. Here's a quick experiment that kind of proves the point. Position your forearm parallel to the ground and let your wrist droop. Relax the uh, wrist and finger extensor muscles. Now, pinch your index finger and thumb together. Again, relaxing the extensor muscles, just contracting the flexor muscles. Feel how little force you can generate. It's kind of just a, a piddly little force. Now, very slowly, begin to extend your wrist. And as these muscles come into play and begin to contract and your wrist extends, see how the force generation between your finger and thumb increases. And as the uh, wrist becomes fully extended, you uh, really get to the point where you can generate the maximum finger flexion, the maximum force. Okay, so what we've learned from this experiment is that in climbing, the extensor muscles act as antagonist stabilizers during acts of finger flexion. So the two most common situations are to stabilize the wrist when you're crimping. So here you are crimping on an edge and the extensor muscles are stabilizing the wrist. And if you're really working hard and getting tired, of course, you get that bat wing effect as your extensor muscles are doing their darndest to put your wrist in the strongest position to hang on to that crimp. The second situation is when you're pinching, the extensor muscles are extending your fingers and of course also extending your wrist somewhat, especially as you get to a very wide pinch. So the two different positions that you need to really train the extensor muscles in is that extension position with your hand closed and wrist extension with your hand open. The two exercises to do this are the reverse wrist curl and then an open-handed pinching exercise. So let's take a look at each. First, the reverse wrist curl. Now this exercise most experienced climbers are familiar with. I've written about it extensively in my book and most coaches out there uh, know to instruct their students and their climbers to do reverse wrist curls a couple days a week. But just a quick refresher, you don't need to go really heavy, a 10 to 15 or if you're really strong, 20 pound dumbbell. And the basic motion you're after is from your wrist uh, in a neutral position, that's the start. And then the end of the range of motion is with the wrist in the extended position. So again, what we're mimicking here is strengthening the extender muscles with your hand kind of in a closed position like it is when you're crimping. Uh, so you could do two sets of 20 repetitions. Again, you don't want to lower the wrist down there. We want to work from neutral to the fully extended position. 20 repetitions, rest for a couple minutes, uh, 20 more repetitions. Another option that I've been using lately that I really like is to do a long duration isometric where you just hold the dumbbell in the fully extended position. You can start off holding it for one minute, eventually build to holding it to two minutes. You'll find that's quite a workout for the extensor muscles. The second exercise is open-handed pinching. And this is the exercise missing from most climbers programs. And it's absolutely essential if you want to develop high-end functional forearm strength and stay uninjured. It's going to take a little work to set up just the right uh, training rig, but I'll show you what I have here and I'm sure with a little effort you can put something together as well. Uh, first of all, 
Here I have uh, a metal pole with a 25 pound free weight plate on it. I have some Nikros pinch blocks that I've uh, put together with a, uh, um, a ring bolt and I can simply pinch this and hold it for 30 seconds or a minute. And this is actually a little light for me. I would probably put this up closer to 50 pounds. But what you can see I'm doing here is pinching with my fingers in an extended position. Exercise one, if you remember, the reverse wrist curls was extension with the hand closed, kind of like a crimp grip. This exercise strengthens the forearm muscles in a way that really no other exercise does in that it uh, strengthens the extensors with the fingers extended. That's critical, uh, a critical distinction here. A couple other options would be to purchase uh, a training ball. This is from Petrogrip, but there's a few other companies that make them as well. Again, as long as the ball is big enough uh, to pinch it, uh, with your fingers fully extended, again, you can clip weight and hang it from here and work a few sets of holding uh, as much weight as you can for 30 to 60 seconds will train the extensors in a, an excellent way. A final option would be to use some free weight plates, or uh, in this case, I'm using a bumper plate, which uh, squeezing it gives me that ideal wrist position, extending the uh, wrist with, again, the fingers in a fully extended position. You don't want to train the pinch in a closed grip. That's too similar to the crimp. You want extended fingers, extended wrist, and then the thumb pinching and squeezing. That'll train your extensor muscles like no other exercise before. Finally, you may be wondering, what about using a rubber band or a similar device to extend your fingers against? Uh, pretty common exercise you see out there, and it's actually very, very good as a warm-up exercise or as a rehabilitation exercise. But for strengthening the finger and wrist extensors as antagonist stabilizers, as they're used in climbing, this exercise doesn't cut it. So there you have it. In addition to the mandatory forearm stretches, which are this for the finger extensors and this to stretch the finger flexors, perform the reverse wrist curl and the open-handed pinches at least twice per week, and you're on your way to a stronger grip, and hopefully you'll dodge the injury bullet.